Voters soundly defeated a bond referendum in Detroit Lakes, Minnesota yesterday. It failed on a 65-35% margin. One of the opponents told Valley News Team's Cornelius Hawker that her vote, along with everyone else who said no, actually helped her community. Taking our money and using it the way they want and acting like they know better than us. Marsha Shannon is one of the more than 3,000 people that voted no on Detroit Lakes Schools referendum. This is one tax. But what happens in another two years, three years? Taxes never go down. Shannon says extra taxes meant to help children will actually hurt them because most families can't afford to pay more taxes. Those who were for the referendum pointed to aging buildings, like here at the middle school, spaces not meant to be classrooms being used for classrooms, and overall, lack of space for students, faculty, and staff. The unfortunate part is the issues are only going to get worse. We have our final storage closet being converted into a classroom, and then we're not sure what to do next. A quick trip around Roosevelt Elementary shows that despite claims of exaggerating problems, every inch of space that can be used is being used, which is the case for all the schools. So what's next? I'm, just, I'm hoping that um, the community it's cohesive, works together, and comes up with a plan because that's uh, that's what we need and that's what we want. The lawyers, the doctors, they can afford it, and maybe they want a Taj Mahal for a school. But you can have the most beautiful school in the world, but what makes the education are the teachers and the people within that building. Cornelius Hawker, Valley News Live. The earliest another vote could be held is in November.